This is a true story. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the movie Breaking back in the day. The two stars of the film was Shabadoo, um, who recently uh, passed uh, R.I.P. And also um, Michael Chambers, you know, basically he was Turbo. So I'm setting this story up so you could get, get the context, right? So um, I'm out here in L.A. and I'm shooting uh, MTV Beach House. And we are in Rancho Palos Verdes. This is when we're shooting at the old Marine Land, right? And so um, I never forget the day <laughs> because I was interviewing Maxwell. Now, Maxwell had that dope ass album, you know, with this is Maxwell with the big hair, you know, that Maxwell album. I forget the name. I don't know if it's Ascension or whatever, but that's that's Maxwell's on fire. So I'm interviewing Maxwell and we had security guys um, that wear the yellow jackets. Right. You know, the ones they like windbreakers. They don't have no gun, but they always say you can't stay here. You can't stand there. Hey, we got to keep this area clear. That's all they can do. They don't even have a flashlight, but. But they usually got a little bit, and it usually be one girl that you don't know if she a lesbian or not, but she kind of kind of built like a dude. But there's always one chick like that with a little tiny ponytail. You know the one. So real quick, I'm interviewing Maxwell, and security rolls over to me because one of the dudes I'm cool with, he say, yo, B, man, there's one of your one of your boys is at the gate, and he's saying he want to come down and say what up to you. So um, I'm like, I don't know nobody right now. Who is it? He says, it's your man, Michael Chambers, right? And at that time, I didn't know his name. It just sounded just randomly out of the way. So I was like, I don't know Michael Chambers. So the guy goes up. I'm interviewing Maxwell. Maxwell, he comes back down. He said, Bill, my man said Turbo. You know him as Turbo. I said, Turbo from breaking? He was like, yeah. I said, yeah, that's my man. So... <laughs> I swear to God, I'm not making this up. So me and Maxwell is, is doing an interview and I can actually see Turbo like to right here. So I'm, I'm and Maxwell's right here. So he's just doing this. What's up? What's up? I said, oh, he's still popping. And this was 97. I'm like, he's still popping like the movie, right? So he was doing all this, just like this, and he's doing all these, you know, you know, pop moves, right? So I was like, okay, he over popping, but I'm not gonna say nothing. So anyway, I didn't know people continue to pop when it ain't no music on. I didn't know. So go back to action. I'm interviewing Maxwell, asking him some great stuff about the album, the producers and writers. Then the security dude calls on me, he say, Yo, B man, can you tell your man Turbo to stop? getting in the camera a line of the camera so he was going like this ah, 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 behind me and he was on camera like this like pop locking right ah, ah, you know just so people know he was on mtv ah, 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 right so, so they say cut i said i said turbo come here man come here man you you can't be pop locking in front of these white people like this like i mean you know they don't know you i do and I'm looking out. So what you can do is just kind of blend in. And then eventually I'll figure out how to work it out. And then I'll get you on whatever, whatever, right? He was like, no nah problem, B. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm with you. You understand? So I'm like, oh, he popping through his whole life, right? So he won't stop. So I said, okay, cool, 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 cool. I said, yo, Turbo, in between pops, I'm getting ready to uh, go back and interview Maxwell. He on fire right now, and I gotta get this done because Maxwell got a hard out, so we good? He said, B, come on, stop playing, boy. Ain't nothing I can't do for my boy. I said, all right, cool. Cut, we go back <laughs> to interview Maxwell. <laughs> Three security dudes in yellow jackets come over to me. <laughs> So we can't take it no more. <laughs> Your boy won't stop popping. He over popping. So they was like, they grabbed him up and he was like, yo, y'all can't be grabbing it. And the funny is shit was they couldn't grab him because every time they tried to grab him, he was pop out of it. And it was, <laughs> I cannot make this shit up, right? So the security guard was trying to grab him and he moonwalked backwards. As he was trying to grab, he was like, nope, I'll get out of here on my own reconnaissance. And he moonwalked his ass out. 
on my mama. I said, no way. No way. I said, man, Hollywood. <laughs> and I had to tell y'all this story because nobody would believe me. I've told several of my friends and they bust out laughing when I tell them the story. I had to tell y'all this story for two people personally, Reggie Hudlin, and I had to do this for Chris Spencer. This is one of Chris Spencer's favorite stories that I tell. He he loses it because he thinks I'm making it up. I'm not making this shit up. I love y'all, man. I hope you enjoyed it. Shout out to my man, Shabadoo. Rest in peace, but true story, man.